Guys, I finally did it. No, I didn't find a girlfriend. I did something even more unlikely than that. I finally got myself a new graphics card. Because yes, I am finally upgrading from my tried and tested GTX 1080 Ti, the former king of GPUs, to the Intel Arc A770. You know, a card that is supposed to be more entry level to mid range. Yeah, I understand that that can sound completely insane. But according to Tech Power Up, I should be seeing a 1% increase in performance over my 1080 Ti. However, this upgrade actually turned out so much better than I expected and shows exactly why you should definitely consider Intel Arc in 2023. Because that 1% performance uplift over my Pascal based 1080 Ti, yeah, that was a complete lie tech power up because thanks to Intel's continued improvement in drivers and just this card being based on a much newer architecture the difference is much higher than that even at 4k which is what I play at and it's just a pretty good way of showing us exactly how far we've come in these several years seeing how this card is like what $330 or something and it beats out the previous king of the roost and for that $330 you just get more of everything more cores more VRAM and faster VRAM at that plus much higher clock speeds as well oh and ray tracing as in this card can actually ray trace granted it's still not very well but hey it's still ray tracing so that's cool and as I showed up in a recent video it's also very easy to overclock it into arc graphics card to get even more performance out of it for pretty much like what five seconds of your time so is it finally time is it finally time to put my tiny ti into retirement well yes and no because even though i've been very impressed with what into have achieved with the a770 i'll be still running back to nvidia the second i get the chance a lot of it's simply coming down to software intel's r control is fine but there are many issues with one of the biggest issues affecting me personally and my work being the fact that i cannot use Intel's Arc capture functionality with HDR on. Wait, 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 what? Excuse me, Intel. And if that wasn't bad enough, the second part of this one-two punch combo at you, the consumer, is the fact that capture capabilities are only limited to a small handful of games right now, some of which I've literally never even heard of before. So like I said, a lot of it just stinks of a pre-pre-alpha state, including these power boxes which are just annoying and you can't dismiss, a lot of errors literally everywhere you look, plus the issue that Intel's RGB software is its own standalone app instead of being integrated into the Intel R control as a whole for some reason. Because you know, you can never have enough RGB software. And then there's also so many other NVIDIA exclusive features that I'm just missing out on. You know, stuff I've taken for granted like NVIDIA Reflex or Hairworks, which are now just, you know, permanently grayed out in any game that supports them. And while yes, XCSS and FSR are both options, as I've proven in another previous video, DLSS with frame generation is just the way to go if you want maximum performance, so definitely check out that video as well. Like it's literally up in the iCards, there's no excuse, do it right now, I dare you. Plus also as a creative working in the creative space and wanting to expand my business further, Nvidia Omniverse is also a huge thing I've been wanting to get into, which I just simply can't without an RTX GPU. So while the time may have come for my 1080 Ti, I'll be definitely switching back to Nvidia as soon as possible, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss what I'll be doing my next PC upgrade, which will be pretty big. In fact, I'll be water cooling for the first time with like no prior knowledge, so uh, you don't want to miss how badly that goes. But for the time being, the Intel A770 is part of my system, and honestly, it is still a pretty fantastic experience. Just having those few extra frames here and there is always nice to have. So for the time being, you know, congrats, congrats, Intel. You managed to beat out a, like, what, five-year-old graphics card? But have you tried Intel Arc so far? Let me know down in the comments below, and especially let me know if you think that they'll be actually able to beat out NVIDIA or AMD in these upcoming generations and also maybe check out our Patreon so I can actually afford these kind of upgrades in the future. Plus also huge thanks to my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, OKB, okay Justin Rage, Elof Ronyak, Balash Velka, Max Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Lansby and Level Up. But anyway that's what it's, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember, subscribe, like, whatever and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye.